Good day. My name is Teresa Ching and I'm from the National Acoustic Laboratories located at the Australian Hearing Hub. I'd like to talk to you today about the benefits of early intervention for improving outcomes of children with hearing loss. Our Lockheed study has clearly shown that children with hearing loss develop better language if they receive their hearing aids or cochlear implants early and this benefit for language development increases when the hearing loss decreases. So how early is early? Well, we started a study, the Longitudinal Outcomes of Children with Hearing Impairment study in 2005, with the specific aim of looking at the effect of age at intervention for improving outcomes of children with hearing loss. We also looked at what factors influence their outcomes. We enrolled about 470 children in Australia onto the study. And by five years of age, about 163 of them are using cochlear implants. Once enrolled in the study, the children's outcomes were measured at 6 and 12 months after initial fitting of hearing aids or cochlear implants, and then again at 3 and 5 years of age. So using the five-year data, we looked at what are the factors influencing outcomes of children with hearing aids. We found that age at first hearing aid fitting was highly significant, but other factors such as severity of hearing loss, cognitive ability, maternal education, presence of additional disabilities, or communication mode were also significant factors influencing outcomes. If we look at here on this graph, language scores of children, and that green band represents the band for normal hearing typically developing children, and the purple band represents one standard deviation below the normative mean. Now let's now focus on that dotted line which represents 50 dB hearing loss. And we can see that if a child has a 50 dB hearing loss and gets fitted with the hearing aids at six months, compared to a child who has the same degree of hearing loss but fitted with hearing aids at 24 months, then the early fitted child is expected to have a language score which is 0.3 of a standard deviation better than a child who received hearing aids later. Now if we look at that line which says 70 dB hearing loss, then the child fitted with hearing aids at six months is estimated to have a score which is 0.3 of a standard deviation better than a child who is fitted at 12 months and a further delay of 12 months of hearing aid fitting would result in a further reduction of 0.3 of a standard deviation in language scores by five years of age. How about children with cochlear implants? Well again, we found that age at first cochlear implantation was highly significant in affecting outcomes at five years, and so is cognitive ability, as well as presence of additional disabilities, and the communication mode used in early intervention. Again, if we look at the global language score as a function of age at cochlear implantation, a child who receives a cochlear implant by six months of age is estimated to have a language score at five years that is 0.7 of a standard deviation better than if the child were to receive cochlear implants at 12 months. And indeed, this child who receives a cochlear implant at six months will be expected to have a language score at five years, which is 1.1 standard deviation, better than if the child were to receive a cochlear implant by 18 months, and 1.4 standard deviation better if the child were to receive cochlear implants by 24 months. So in summary, there is a clear benefit of early fitting of hearing aids or cochlear implants to encouraging language development because it allows early auditory access to sounds. For children who use hearing aids, the benefit increases as the hearing loss increases. And this benefit is even greater for children who receive cochlear implants. So clearly early intervention is key to better language development in children with hearing loss. And you can unlock that door to auditory access of sounds by providing earlier age at cochlear implantation and early age at hearing aid fitting. And clearly for those who work with children, the earlier a child gets a cochlear implant, the better. So make sure that you have those cochlear implant referrals 
well before 12 months of age. I would like to acknowledge the funding support that we've received from NIH as well as the Australian Government. And together with the Lockheed team, the picture of whom you can see on this slide, I would like to thank all the agencies who have worked with us on this Lockheed study. And I would like to invite you to visit the outcomes website where we post most of the findings of the Lockheed study. Given here is also a reference in which we publish most of our findings. Thank you.